I'll tell you who the fourth man is. In Genesis, he is the seed of the woman. In Exodus, the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, our high priest. In Numbers, the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, the prophet like unto Moses. In Joshua, the captain of our salvation. In Judges, our judge and lawgiver. In Ruth, our kinsman redeemer. In First and Second Samuel, our trusted prophet. In Kings and Chronicles, our reigning king. In Ezra, our faithful scribe. In Nehemiah, the rebuilder of the broken down walls of human life. In Esther, our Mordecai. In Job, our day spring on high. And our ever living redeemer, for I know that my redeemer liver. Who is this fourth man? I'll tell you who he is. In Psalms, he's the Lord our shepherd. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, he is our wisdom. In the Song of Solomon, he's the lover and the bridegroom. In Isaiah, the prince of peace. In Jeremiah, the righteous branch. In Laman, patience, the weeping prophet. In Ezekiel, the wonderful four-faced man. And in Daniel, the fourth man, the burning fiery furnace. Who is this fourth man? In Hosea, he's the faithful husband, forever married to the backslider. In Joel, the baptizer with the Holy Ghost and fire. In Amos, our burden bearer, and Obadiah, the mighty to save. In Jonah, our great foreign missionary. In Micah, the messenger of beautiful feet. In Nahum, the avenger of God's elect. In Habakkuk, God's evangelist. Angelus crying revive thy work in the midst of the years. In Zephaniah, he is the Savior. In Haggai, the restorer of God's lost heritage. In Zechariah, the fountain opened up in the house of David for sin and uncleanness. And in Malachi, the son of righteousness rising with healing in his wings. Who is this fourth man? In Matthew, he's the Messiah. In Mark, the wonder worker. In Luke, the son of man. In John, the son of God. In Acts, the Holy Ghost. In Romans, our justifier. Corinthians, our sanctifier. In Galatians, he is the redeemer from the curse of the law. In Ephesians, the Christ of unsearchable riches. In Philippians, the God who supplies all our needs. In Colossians, the fullness of the Godhead bodily. First and second Thessalonians, he is our soon coming king. In first and second Timothy, our mediator between God and man. In Titus, our faithful pastor. And Philemon, a friend, a stick of closer than a brother. In Hebrews, the blood of the everlasting covenant, and James, the great physician. First and second Peter, the chief shepherd, who soon shall appear with a crown of unfading glory. In first, second, and third John, he is love. In Jude, the Lord coming with ten thousands of his saints. In Revelation, the King of kings and Lord of lords. Who is this fourth man? I'll tell you who he is. He's Abel's sacrifice, Noah's rainbow, Abraham's ram, Isaac's wells, Jacob's ladder, Issachar's burdens, Judah's scepter, Balaam's Shiloh, Moses' rod, Elijah's mantle, Elisha's staff, Gideon's fleece, Samuel's horn of oil, David's slingshot, Isaiah's fig pole, Hezekiah's sundial, Peter's shadow, Paul's handkerchief's apron, Stephen's signs and wonders, John's pearly white city. Who is this fourth man? He's a husband to the widow, a father to the orphan, to those of us who travel the dark night. He's the bright and morning star. To those who go through the lonesome valley, he's a lily of the valley, the rose of Sharing the staff of life and honey in their eyes. Who is this fourth man? He's a rock in the weary land. He is a pearl of great pride. He is the everlasting father. And the garment of our life is upon his shoulder. Who is this fourth man? He is Jesus of Nazareth, the son of the living God.